Okay, so now I'm just going to do a quick video of me putting on the new replacement tire wheel. This was the old one where the um, weld broke off. In the other video, you can see. Um, so this wasn't the exact replacement, uh, but for the price, I got two. Basically, almost a buy one, get one free. Um, and it's not as... I don't know if it's the same rating or not. Um, I think this is just a two ply tire. Um, the other ones are four ply, but they, you know, I have to put air in them. But this one has a grease fitting. <laughs> not that I can't drill and probably put one in those, but I'm going to end up replacing all four of these. So here's what I did. Um, because if I put this on, uh, there it is. It's, it may rub on the may rub on the body right in here so I'm going to use two washers a small one and a fatter one because this is on an angle about a 10 degree angle so if I did it the other way Put the big one down and the little one. The wheel is just going to rock a little bit more. So I just do it the other way. Little one, big one. Put the wheel over top. And it's still going to have some wobble, but this should be spaced enough. Once the load is down on there, this should keep it away from the um, frame. And I'm going to put the Lock washer back on. This should keep it square. I mean, you know, hopefully for the most part. Um, I don't know. I'd still, we'll see if this thing works. Um, how it's supposed to. I don't really think there's, I should probably should have a bigger washer here. Um, Maybe that washer's gonna be too much. As I'm thinking about now, I have the washer's gotta compress against here or this wheel's not gonna spin. Or the nut's gotta compress them. I don't know. This may not work, let's see. So once that's down, it's tight on there. Have a, it has to have enough space. Huh. Well, I may just have to do it with just a little washer. So once I tighten that down, if this compresses against, if this nut compresses against this um, part of the hub, this wheel will not turn. So it looks like I'm going to have to eliminate the washer on the bottom. So just to show you, now it's flush, but it may rub. Um, I really want to put a washer there. I have to put a, let me see if I can put a small one. Because will it fall off? Let's see if I have a. Of course, I have a thing full. This is my smaller washers that I have. So I need a thin. I don't think I'm gonna have any thin washers in here with the big enough diameter. I think it's a five eighths. Um, could try use this original one that. Came with it, I don't know. I mean, that's a little washer to be holding this on. Oh, tighten it down and see it's, it's it's already binding on the wheel back here. Let's.
Gonna have to put something back there. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. Maybe I should just put bigger axles in here. <laughs> Axle extensions. Uh, let me just try this and show you guys. This probably won't work. Yeah, see, it's... <laughs> Now, if this bearing spun, I mean, if this was that spun on there, this would work. As I say, I snugged it down. See, wheel is never going to turn. And it's still hitting down here. So, got a deal on the wheels, but I don't know. So, what I'm going to do on another video is... Uh, being that the front wheels turn and uh, they're spaced farther away, I'm going to put my two new wheels like these onto the front. And I'm gonna take these and put them on the back as long as when I change one of the front wheels that this new replacement wheel actually clears. So which it looks like it should. It's got enough of a space in there. Oh, we'll see, but I cannot find the right wheels for this. Even looking up the brand, I could not find the right wheels at all. So I'm not sure why, but all right. Thanks for watching.